Here's a simple guide on how to map customer journeys. And this one is for a restaurant, a really simple version. You start with the awareness points. And here it's Google, their website, TripAdvisor, adverts that they've placed in local newspapers, a Facebook page, or word of mouth from existing people that have been. Once you've captured all these touch points, you then need to move from awareness to consideration. This is where they get the information that they need to decide whether or not they're going to interact with the organisation or the restaurant in this case. Here you'll see you're starting to get routes between the touch points. So from TripAdvisor, they could look at reviews and from there they could go to the menus page of the website. Or from most of the other touch points, they can go to the website and then look at the menu to decide whether or not it's worth them visiting the restaurant. From awareness and consideration, you then move through to the interaction. So here, they're either booking online or phoning to book. They'll get an email confirmation. Then they go to the restaurant, have a meal and pay. And then you move to the ongoing relationship. So once they've paid and left the restaurant, they're going to get a review request and then they'll start to get regular emails, advertising events and different meals at the restaurant. So potentially they maintain being a customer, they'll go back to phone to book or booking online and that circle will continue as long as they continue to be a customer. What you can also have is the exit. So at some point they will decide they don't want to be customers anymore. So they'll unsubscribe from the emails uh, and just not go anymore. What you can also do on the journey map is map the issues. In this case, we've done it with warning triangles. Now you can number each of these and then detail them separately. But the idea is to create a really clear picture of what the customer journey is and where the issues lie. So in this case, as examples, the Facebook page hasn't been kept up to date. There have been some poor reviews that haven't been answered by the management. When you phone to book, it's very difficult to get through. The meal wasn't brilliant and the service wasn't absolutely great. And then the emails are not as uh, informative or useful as they could be. So now you know where the issues are and you can start to address those one by one to improve the customer journey, get more people booking and get them coming back more regularly. Thanks for listening.